Riot made some changes to Soul Fighter Samira in response to the community backlash, but we'll chat about those in a minute, because I wanted to talk about the League community versus skins. Also, yeah, because of all the talk about skins recently, I'm wearing a new chroma. It's no secret the latest Samira skin sparked a lot of controversy, mostly because it was just objectively not up to quality standards for an ultimate skin, but the price was still way up there. The highest rated comment on the PBE feedback thread is, literally, this is not worth 3250 RP. In fact, the skin by definition set by Riot doesn't fit an ultimate skin. This is from an article written back in 2019. What we learned from Gun Goddess Misfortune is that the novelty factor is actually really important to y'all when you think about what makes a skin an ultimate. Players generally expect ultimate skins to break the boundaries of the game in some way, shape or form, and this is something we've carried forward when considering potential new ultimates. Now, if you've watched my videos, you know I'm actually pretty generally positive about Riot and game devs in general, so I will say the rest of the event, super fucking cool, but unfortunately I think this just makes it even more disappointing when the ultimate skin is full of reused animations and the sort. And, of course, this actually sparked a discussion on the League Reddit. Is there really even a point of having the PBE skin feedback threads at this point? Here were some of the main points brought up in the feedback thread. Reused animations from base Samira skin, T-posing ultimate that has less impact than the base version even when you take evolutions into consideration. It's really stiff and rigid, there's no fluid motions in it at all. I recommend checking it out because it's probably the worst defender of this skin and actually when I first saw this skin on the PBE I genuinely thought it was bugged because of the T-pose animation. Like genuinely if you haven't seen it I do recommend going and checking it out, I think it just looks a little bit silly in my opinion. Reusing stuff from other legendary skins while the only new thing is the different font that shows damage. It doesn't follow standards regarding Riot's ultimate skins that they themselves made, which is what I went over before. The new VO is really short compared to legendary skins. No evolution or model change that every single other ultimate skin has, yes even Seraphine, and her ultimate doesn't count because legendary Soraka has that feature already. So you'd think with all of this feedback, and I mean there was seriously a lot of feedback in the thread, that Riot would make some pretty positive changes to the skin. Well, here's what actually got changed. All Soul Fighter Samira base damage now triggers the unique damage numbers, items and special buffs still use the base damage numbers, adjusted the threshold hold for a taunt to be 0, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and 18, added a bit more flair to the recall for a little more spice as well as a respawn, added a bit more flair to her auto attacks to give a more powerful feel, and added a special burst of flames and sparks when landing the killing blow on a minion. So yeah, not really hitting the mark there in my opinion. And then also just as kind of like the shit cherry on top of the shit cake, this is the new Yasuo skin which is a legendary and it just got added to Wild Rift and it looks fucking sick. So I definitely understand the community's outrage regarding the skin. Me personally, I'm not a huge skin purchaser but I mean yeah, like I mentioned before, even when I first saw it in PB I was like, hmm, why is she spinning like that? But let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.